I'm going to show some Harry Potter inspired artwork that I have done, like crafting, and not exactly art. Um, we'll start with the first things. I decided to make some Harry Potter hand warmers. These are just little squares with rice put inside. I got the fabric from Walmart. can't remember how much it cost at the time. Um, and I think this was from a Dollar Tree or something like that. I don't know. Super cheap. I sewed it up, threw the beans inside, and then I microwave them for just, I don't know, these are like 30 seconds in the microwave. And then I can put them in my pockets and warm my hands. So, there's one of the little Harry Potter crafts. I intend to make more, but like bigger sections that are, well, longer. So, that's kind of the first step. Um, over here, I made this. I got some wings for like 25 cents over at a thrift store. Um, put a little foam ball in the middle. And then I kind of paper mache all of the lines with just like rolling tiny, tiny pieces. This little dingly dangly thing is frustrating. But anyway, I hang it from my ceiling, but I roll tiny pieces of uh, paper and then I just dipped it in glue kind of and then just like folded it down. And then I put tissue paper over the top of that. I decided to go with a like a dirtier gold to try to match the wings. Doesn't do perfect, but it works. And then with attaching those, I shoved some wires in there and put like tissue paper over that in the Mod Podge. So there's one. So that is how I made my golden snitch. And he just sits up on the ceiling with this little wired bend thing that I kind of also wired into the styrofoam. Just kind of shove it in there with glue. And that holds it. And since it doesn't do much except for sit on the ceiling, it doesn't need to be too secured or anything like that. So that's this one. But this next one, unfortunately, it got broken. But I went and did a pottery oh gosh, yeah. Pottery painting. And See if I can puzzle this back together, unfortunately. So I made myself a puzzle, technically, thanks to it breaking in shipping. So I'm gonna figure out someday how to put it back together. This one goes over here. Oh dear. My poor little plate and this little hat. Um, yeah, so. Hard to tell exactly. Aim it down just a smidge. But we got some uh, Felix, blah blah blah. I can't remember the rest of the name of that, but the uh, Luck Potion, a sock for Dobby, the broom, a snitch, some water's map, Roger's map, uh, footprints, a little cauldron over here got the key and then we'll go over here to this side and that was a polyjuice potion the um, deathly hollows tri wizard cup lightning bolt obviously platform nine and three quarters and then well, I'll just then there's um quaffle and a quaffle bat I believe and then the last little busted up piece. There's the rings and um, the Quidditch rings. And a little note. So, yeah. Originally, oh, was it missing a piece? Oh, brr. I'm an idiot. Um, there we go. Day paper. So, um, I'm not too entirely sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm kind of thinking maybe like a mosaic stepping stone, sort of. I don't know if I'd want to break it more or attempt to glue it and just use it as a tray to set things on without actually eating off of it. But anyway, so that's this one. I'll stop blathering on about it. 
let me pause for a sec, clean it all up, and set the camera up for the next item. Okay, this next item is a cauldron. And I got it from the Halloween section at Walmart. I just decided I'd add um, little bead bubbles and little like package decoration for like the um, potion spilling out the top. But it's sitting on top of a half a um, soda pop bottle. So that kind of fits in there. I Mod Podge some green tissue paper on there to give it a um, spell style uh, look. I don't know, potion style look, not a spell style look. So I pull this off. Oh gosh. And inside, you've got your potions, your, I don't know, it's probably some sort of uh, poisonous one because it's got red lines in there. But you, you pretend potions of your witch's brew. Sorry, my hand is ginormous. And this little one, I'd like to assume that these might... Focus, please! Okay, I'd like to assume that these might actually uh, be things that you possibly could uh, buy, or you'd buy the potion and bring your own bottle in and they'd fill it for you or something like that. Um, these are just regular Halloween stickers that kind of fit for the job. <clears throat> These are bottles that I got from craft stores. This one I think was from the dollar store, but uh, yeah, I just punched two holes in there, added the string, added those, added tissue paper, and some glitter, because I think I um, poured some nail polish in there to get the glitter effect. And the tissue paper has writing on it, so it gives it that weird swirly look. I like it. So, uh, the rest of this is just empty, but it kind of just awkwardly slides. And you can see kind of, well, maybe you can't, but the bumps of the soda bottle. So originally, just the bottom of the soda bottle like that. I just chopped it off in a very bad manner, but that's okay. Nobody's going to see that, except for you guys. Then put that back in there with some squishing. So yeah, that's my potions container. Um, originally I kind of had my spider Halloween decoration from the Dollar Tree to go with it. It sat on the side, and I just actually sat it on the table around Halloween because it doesn't work on the tree, so now it's just a fun decoration. So, with that, hang on, I thought there was one other thing. Alright, this last one is kind of a, um, a bigger project. Uh, so I went to the Dollar Tree, and everybody... I don't know. Anybody who has Pinterest might have seen these already where you make signs. So this is from the Dollar Tree. But I decided to paint it my own style on the back so either I can have it this side or switch it over and do Harry Potter stuff. So I got platform nine and three quarters, Hagrid's hut, the burrow, and it's hard to tell but it says 53. I got Hogwarts, Azkaban, and Diagon Alley. Uh, I think the only thing I might have changed would have been maybe the distances on things. But otherwise, I do like it. Um, kind of based some of the backgrounds. <laughs> Did you want to kiss it? Because uh, now you got to. Alright, let me try this again. Okay, so I did... <laughs> where was I? Uh, I did try to base some of the backgrounds off of places that, you know, kind of were like it, but Diagon Alley, um, I was like, oh, it's got its both dark side and light side for all of its goodness in it. It's got a little building on it. Uh, these were actually, I don't know, uh, press-on stickers almost. They're like tattoos for, uh, or like fake tattoos for, uh, um, well, craft projects. I got those from the Dollar Tree. Um, this one I used a stencil on. And that's also from the Dollar Tree. This is another Dollar Tree stencil that um, I had used. And I'll move this just a smidge. This one I did by hand. You can kind of tell. <clears throat> and then uh, these are stickers. As are the platform. 
get in here, buddy. Um, here, I'll just lift this. Um, that was the platform one right here. So this I kind of hand painted. This way I can hang it and, uh, you know, have it. Whether it's a fall or whether I'm a giant nerd. Um, so that's about it. I know I have more stuff, but uh, I intend to do um, a little video. This is all just kind of experimental for how I can film things. But um, I hope to do a video <clears throat> on Harry Potter ornaments. But like this would be one of those that shows up ah, in that video. This is a cupcake topper. And for funsies, I decided to see if I can make it look like the hat. But for now, I'll probably go since this is all I can find. Everything else that I might own is packed. And thanks for watching. <laughs> all right. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Bye.